In today's session, I'll show you how to create a therapy health consultant logo. So the most challenging part in this logo is to design a human shape. So first we'll select the pencil tool. Instead of pen tool, I am selecting the pencil tool because it would be more easier for us to draw a human shape. So after selecting this, uh, make sure there is no fill color or else it will disturb us. So I'm making it none. And now I'll draw a human shape. Drag it slowly like this way. And then go towards up like that. Make a little bit bigger shape and then balance it this way and make it uh, smaller at the end. So here I made this shape. Now I can fill the color. So to fill this color, you need to select this one. And from here, you can choose your color or here swatches are there. You can select it and you can choose your favorite color and uh, remove the outlines of this shape. Now let us zoom it and see uh, the shape is perfect or not here. We can see there is uh, not perfect. So for that, what we need to do now is take this uh, direct selection tool and click on this answer point. You can see here, you can manipulate the shape, take it little bit up and you can take it down. Now to zoom out, what you need to do, control plus minus on your keyboard, it will zoom out. And here we need to make some changes. We should make it a little bit narrow here. So let's select this direct selection tool once again. Click on the shape. Uh, you can see the points here. Just select this point and use arrow key on your keyboard and you can move it like this. And even select this one too. Now it seems fine. Now what you need to do is select the shape and take a smooth tool. Uh, here you can see the smooth tool, select it and just move over it. It will make your shape smoother and make it more perfect. Now it looks great. Now this shape is perfect. Uh, what we need to do is uh, let's take uh, this ellipse tool. And now press and hold shift and alt key on your keyboard and drag it outside so that it can make a circle from the center. So this is the first human shape uh, we developed and now we need to draw two more shapes. So I am uh, taking pencil tool once again and uh, removing this fill color, taking this outline color. There is no outline color now. So I can select this green color or you can select from here also. So let me select this black color. And now let us draw another shape from here. Like this. So while drawing these types of shapes by using pencil tool, you need to be a little bit slow so that you can make a perfect shape. No need to be hurry. And from here, make it bigger, bigger, and take it like this. And take it downward again, like this, and make it this way, and join it. Now you can fill the color once again. You can remove the outlines directly from here and fill the colors. Now these shapes uh, seems not perfect. So for that we'll use uh, this smoothing tool and move over it. Now you see it is looking great. And here what 
we'll uh, do now is we'll drag this shape by using alt key and make it copy you can make little bit smaller and bigger and you can drag it uh, you can bring it down by using arrow key on your keyboard and now we need to uh, make here a bone bone means uh, this is a shape of a bone which uh, especially used for therapy consultant purpose so how we'll draw this we'll take uh, this pen tool and from here we'll draw a curve line like this up to here and now let us uh, remove the fill color and keep outlines only now let's use smooth tool over this line and make the line smoother and perfect uh, it seems like it is perfect but uh, we need to use direct selection tool now because here uh, let us make a gap a little bit equal so that it can look uh, more nicer now again let's use a uh, smooth tool over it see in graphic design uh, if you want to make a nice design you need to invest lots of time and check again and again so this way uh, you can make a nice design at a time graphic design things doesn't uh, works much better because always you will think that something is left to be done so let's use the smooth tool once again over it yeah now now this curves looks little bit more better now next thing is that uh, here we can see uh, the gap is uh, much than here so what we'll do select this uh, by using this selection tool and uh, you can rotate it from here and make it uh, like this now what you need to do is select this line uh, go to stroke option and from here you can increase the stroke means increase the weight and uh, in caps option click on middle we need round shape and uh, no need to do other things here click on desk line and here you can give cap so let me give uh, if it is 20 then give 20 and see uh, so let's select this round joint and here this dash make it zero now we get uh, this round shape and let us increase the distance gap here it's fine and from here select this and we got this therapy shape so you can manipulate it little bit like this and you can increase the weight if you want so when we increase the weight here will uh, increase the gap and now we need to draw another human shape so let's take this pencil tool once again and from here from here we need to draw another shape so just drag it by pressing your mouse and make sure it is coming uniformly or else your logo will not look nice up to this much and take it up once again no worries if there is 
alignment uh, is disturbed we can fix it later and now join it here and uh, remove this outline uh, color and fill with any color you want so I am using green color here now let me zoom it so that you can uh, see it better now select this shape and from here select this delete anchor points and delete this point delete this point to this 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 and this even we can delete this point as well delete this one this one this one and even this one also this one also this one so now click on direct selection tool and uh, drag this alignment here and similarly click on this anchor point and manipulate this one so here also we'll uh, remove this point and now by using direct selection tool we'll make a more nicer nicer shape here now it is looking uh, more nicer now i'll uh, use the smooth tool over it and make the shape more smoother and perfect now let us bring this uh, circle by making it copy for that you need to press and hold alt key and drag it and uh, drag it down by using shift and alt key and make it smaller in size and you can bring it here so we have drawn this shape uh, now next thing is we need to uh, create a leaf for that you can use pen tool now now drag it and make it bigger in size now I'll make a gap here in between so take this pen tool once again and from this side I'll make a gap and now select these two and from here click on minus front so it is deleted and make a gap here so now <coughs> Uh, let me make it smaller in size so press and alt shift and alt key and drag it down so I'll change the color now here because we need to keep different color for this so I'll choose a blue color for this and let me expand this or else I can't use any color here so after expanding it will convert into object now we can use color here so you can use this color also and this color as well which one you prefer most and this color is not the perfect one so I'll uh, use this color and in color option I'll make it little bit lighter from here because I'll use in mock-up so for mock-up always uh, go with the lighter color and now let us distribute uh, this leaf over here so for that what you need to do just uh, press and hold alt key and drag it and make copies Uh, you can uh, reflect it so here is a option for reflect tool just double click it 
and select this particle and copy so this way you need to fill the uh, complete area so now I'll make it one more duplicate and make it smaller uh, in shape by dragging it down by using shift and alt key on your keyboard and now put it on the middle it looks more nicer now and uh, here also you can put so distribute this like this and for this also I'll make a little bit smaller and I'll put it on the gap now our logo is ready and now we'll export it in transparent png and we'll apply it for our mock-up so go to file and here is a export save for web so here you can see the size of this page and uh, i mark transparency and here is a png 24 so here I am increasing the percentage so that uh, it can uh, easily cover the mockup area because the mockup uh, file size is little bit bigger. So if we don't increase the size here, this percentage or the resolution here on mockup file when we'll drag it, we need to drag this transparent image bigger and which may give you uh, result in blur <clears throat> so now we increase 200 percent and now we'll save it so I'll save it in desktop so file name you can give anything and save it so after saving we can't apply mockup on Photoshop CC so now we have to open uh, Photoshop uh, 2020 in Photoshop what you need to do go to file open and you need to open the mocha file and uh, the transparent image that you saved from Illustrator CC so here is the transparent image we saved so I'm uh, I double clicked and I'll open it here Now open your mockup file where you saved. So if you don't have this to latest version of software, you can join on my Facebook page and uh, you can ask me that I need uh, those to latest version of software. Uh, I'll provide you. For that you need to pay a little bit cost. So here, here is the uh, you can see the option that uh, you need to double click here and now drag your transparent logo image over this mockup file and you can make a little bit bigger in size by pressing alt key and drag it in Photoshop this way and bring it on the middle and mark it unmark the uh, this mockup background and close it from here and click on yes and wait for the mockup to be applied and now let us check the result wow it looks really awesome uh, hope you like this tutorial you can subscribe us and support us and uh, like this video